will kind of actualize that that openness can be people seeing other Christians acting like that too. Like we've been talking about what we're challenged to incarnate that in a similar way uh, as he does. Um, so I think about, I remember when he was first elected, I was sort of like, wow, I've never been sort of concerned about a, or interested in a um, new pope being elected before. It just, I wasn't interested in theology or being Catholic so much um, when Pope Benedict was elected. But uh, I, I kind of thought, okay, we're gonna get a little bit more of the same, um, a CEO, a politician, a leader of a huge institution. Um, we'll see what happens. It'll, yeah, I was a little bit skeptical. And then he's, he's holding um, the most marginalized people. He's playing with children. He's kissing um, people he's never met before. Uh, and I was just blown away. And so I wonder, it opens up my imagination too in a challenging way. At a school of theology and ministry, what would it be like, what would Brighton be like if we all did that? <laughs> there are hundreds of us <laughs> studying there. So I'm inspired and really very challenged as well.